All we do together is go to lunch. Which is a great, nice thing. I, I hate doing shit. I love going to lunch. I like mm-hmm. doing stuff. I like no. having I like having my joke around friends that I see at work only. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then having my serious friends. Right. No I joking. Do, yeah, I hang out with a bunch of neurosurgeons. Yeah, yeah. scientists. And and a we have dinner. We have, we have very quiet dinner parties, and I would say, uh, "Oh, Richard, um, my inquiry to you last week: uh, Did you get a chance to take a look at any of that research?" And they're like, uh, "You mean the email asking me if you could implant gay memories into someone's <laughs> brain <laughs> with a baguette?" <laughs> Or do baguettes cause gay thoughts? Mm-hmm. Do they? No, if there's no pro- reason. <laughs> Is there research on that? That's interesting. I beg to differ. <laughs> I think it was a bag. I mean, I think theoretically a baguette could do that. I suppose in my estimation it I, could. Maybe the, there's just a lack of, it's as with everything, a lack of funding for the research, I would say. <laughs> no, I, I don't think no. it's a... I don't think there's any mechanism by which eating a baguette could make you gay for tw- yeah, twenty minutes or whatever. Shit. whatever you said. <laughs> twenty minutes a month. If yeah. you eat a baguette, you get to be gay. Uh, uh, Danielle, and it's not uh, your fault. And the email I sent you, yeah, the go gurt in your ass thing. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's not a medical. We question. cannot replace. We cannot sew your balls into your asshole yeah. and make it a fridge. No, I don't know, know what an intercooler is. <laughs> And no. <laughs> mm. uh, I just like it, the intellectual curiosity. Of, I'm I'm asking questions. I'm Mary. asking questions. I'm trying to be a intellectual you know, provocateur. I, I subscribe to National Geographic magazine. <laughs> I am an intellectual after all. I voted for Bernie Sanders and prior to that I was uh more of like an adult swim kind of guy. <laughs> <laughs> and then after voting for Bernie Sanders, I realized I'm an intellectual and I immediately subscribed to National Geographic magazine and started mm-hmm. asking questions such as, whose fault is it that I'm a fucking loser? Yeah. It's, who's, is it because I eat baguettes is, that I think gay uh, shit? Yeah, because uh, obviously I'm a genius of some sort. <laughs> obviously yeah. I'm a straight genius. Mm-hmm. Well, all of these, these, you know... Esoteric concepts I can easily repeat. So it's more like it's like a salon, you and your friends. Yeah, you guys are just thinking of like you bring different like uh, high flutin things to a meeting, and then you present them to one another. Yeah, yeah. I don't think that I know. Who do you have in the crew? Just a couple of neurosurgeons and then some bitch named Danielle. (laughs) Really? What's she like? What's her? She's hot. She had big tits. Do One of these days, I'm gonna fuck her. Fuck her. Oh, no, not yeah, yet. Fuck her, yeah. Once I get the other doctors to convince her I'm not gay <laughs> <laughs> through science, <laughs> and I get her to trust the science, right? Mm-hmm. Then it's fucking over it's for that over bitch. For that bitch's <laughs> pussy. Have any of the doctors fucked Danielle? Right, be Danielle's <laughs> pussy. <laughs> Boom. Fucking <laughs> 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 old she doesn't think I'm gay. <laughs> it's done for her. She's got nothing. <laughs> no chance, <laughs> bitch. That's the only thing keeping me at bay is you thinking I'm gay. <laughs> that little blockade is lifted. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's I'm the final domino to that. fall. And that's my movie dinner party. Hitting. <laughs> it will be on Peacock. <laughs> <laughs> be on Peacock 2 my streaming platform <laughs> my leftist streaming platform Peacock.tv 